you think of that first play call when you're on your own degree? And what does that say about what you think this team's offense is? Uh, yeah, um, I thought it was a, a great call. <laughs> of course, it was a bad call. But, uh, you know, I, we, we had kind of an idea of what they were going to do on film. And uh, they kind of did what we thought. And so Coach Ram did a great job. And he didn't care you know, where we are in the field. We're going to run our offense. So, you know, once, that, once we saw that they were going to line up that way, it was good after that. So that was something you were looking for, not that particular player. Or or? Yeah, yeah, we knew we knew that when we got backed up, that that's kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to take a shot, and so uh, once we uh, once we got lined up to the last minute, it, it, it looked great, and uh, Marcel did a great job of running the and making a nice catch. Um, Garrett, um, you You know, it just it shows how uh, you know how great our depth is at receiver. That uh, you know we had certain circumstances happen to where uh, you know some other guys had to step in and play key roles. And uh, you know I, I thought we were on a good page. But uh, you know, also you had to tip your hat off guys like uh, Anthony Riggins, Greg Watson. You know, uh, you know he came in and ran two great routes, made a, made a great catch on the first one, second one, just got knocked out at the end. But I mean, you know. We, just proud of our guys and how much we fought. You know, we put a quarterback out of our receiver and he was doing some good things. So I'm just proud of our uh, receiving core as a whole. Derek, how different was the field tonight as a crowd response compared to what you had in Derek a year ago? Man, uh, I, I kid you not, one time I sat back, uh, you know, last season, uh, towards the end of the year, and I just looked up to the stands and it was empty. We were losing, and uh, it was a bad feeling. And so I kind of went in that, with that mindset. Um, you know, into the summer, into the workouts and all that, you know, I don't want to see that again. And, uh, you know, I worked as hard as I could, and I was, I was so proud of our fans, you know, they, they, they were there, they were loud, and, uh, you know, gave these new coaches a glimpse of what our fans can do. And then the, the start that you guys got out to, you know, how, how, how big was that, you know, not just for this game, but kind of for the whole DeRuiter era? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I, thought, I thought we came out and did some good things on both sides of the ball, you know. Uh, Definitely good to see number 16 back on defense. Uh, you know, I love that guy. Um, you know, he is from the best city in the world, uh, Bakersfield, and Fresno. Uh, and you know, I thought I thought Robbie ran the heck out of the ball early, and that makes my job so much easier. And uh, you know, I love when we run the ball, you know, 30, 40 times because you know that, that makes them uh, have to play one on ones outside somewhere. And so you know, I was proud of him. I was proud of our offensive line, really. When you connected on your first 10 passes. In that zone uh, man, I was just tired of having to throw at Phillip. You know, I was just excited to get out there and you know play against another team. And uh, you know, I was just trying to do what I was coached to do. You know, trying to go at the right place at the right time. I don't, I didn't even know I was ten in a row. I, I don't even think those things. So, you know, my mind's more, you know, what's the down distance? You know, what pressures do they bring here? What coverage? So, you know, but that sounds pretty sweet. So uh, hopefully we can keep that going. Hey, when did you find out about those suspensions? Did you have an advance warning? Did you guys get to practice? Or did it uh, catch you off guard like it caught us? Yeah, I, I don't know uh, how to answer that. Yeah, I asked Coach Druder about all that kind of stuff. I don't want to get into that. You know, but once we found out, um, you know, you just say, you know, whatever. You know, you got to move on because there's nothing you can do that's going to change it. So, like I said, I was proud of Greg, Riggins, uh, you know, Pat got in there. There's a lot of guys, I don't want to forget anybody, but a lot of guys had to step up and did great things at receiver. And I uh, was really proud of them.